Hey, welcome. It's Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions. Today, Loudness, the song, Soldier of Fortune. This is just my second Loudness song I've done. I'm slowly becoming a fan. Uh, I love the guitar playing. I love the songwriting. I believe this is somewhat of a newer live video. My first one was the song Crazy Doctor, who had, or the video itself, had a different singer, Mike Vicera. Not sure what happened, why they didn't have the original singer during that, but I started there. So help me find the best. If you love this band, I'd love to know details about them uh, and what your favorite songs are. And with that said, if you like this kind of thing, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I would greatly appreciate that. On this channel, we talk about guitar. Uh, I kind of give really basic reactions. I talk about gear, if it makes sense. Uh, sometimes some basic guitar principles, techniques, all of that is not really, it's more of an appreciation of guitar playing than it is a theory of guitar playing. So I appreciate you watching, and here we go, Soldier of Fortune. Soldier of Fortune! Cool guitar tone, love that guitar. That's his signature model, I think. It's an ESP, unless someone else makes it now. But he was using that, well, this guitar, at least in that previous video I did. I remember uh, the only song I know by this band, and I've said this in the other videos, was Crazy Nights. That's the only song I've heard before. And that was from the 80s, when I heard it, when it came out. And they had kind of a cool... Uh, I don't know what it was, but it was like a star-shaped guitar, um, which I totally dig because I kind of have one. Uh, but this one, I think, is his signature model. Probably back this up a little bit. Uh, I don't love tapping in general. 
I don't mind Eddie Van Halen. I don't mind um, sometimes. Uh, but it's such a prevalent thing now in the sense of it's been incorporated into so many younger players playing. It's just another technique, you know, whereas before in the 80s and all of that, it was obviously relegated to, you know, some people were amazing at it and some were not so great at it. And there's, you know, Steve Lynch, Jeff Watson, uh, Brad Gillis, uh, a lot of Steve Vai, and I'm sure many, many, many other players incorporated it effectively. And here we see it done really, really well and with a little bit of the gimmick kind of thing with the hand uh, over the fretboard and super articulate and really good. Uh, you know, nicely played with lots of nuance. Because a lot of times it just seems like tapping is one of those things where people, they run out of juice and that that's the next thing to do. Because, you know, you're, you, I don't want to say it's easier, but it's definitely easier to articulate things uh, to kind of make them sound faster or whatever. Again, I'm not saying it's an easy way to play guitar. I'm just saying, like, I see this progression in a lot of guitar solos. They start out with some tr traditional scale runs or some arpeggiated stuff, and then it usually ends with tapping. It's almost, you can see it everywhere. So um, lots of great players do it. I'm not against it. I just, I, I don't know. It, it's nice to hear it done really, really well. There we have it, Loudness doing the song Soldier of Fortune and uh, Akira delivering a cool solo with lots of stuff, lots of guitar playing. What I like about this band, uh, great songwriting, number one, and number two, lots of guitar playing. Now, when I say that, I've only watched two songs, but uh, I've been blown away by that original video I did, which was Crazy Doctor. That one was from the uh, 90s or so, and I, this one has to be from the 2000s at the very least. So a couple decades apart, maybe, and they still have it. The songwriting's there. This is, uh, I think they have over 25 records or something like that. So there's a lot of material there that um, I promise myself while I'm working, I drive around a lot, uh, have a lot of time to listen to music in the car, Loudness is going to be a big part of it for the next couple of weeks for sure and kind of find what I like about them and maybe what I don't. So uh, I am Brian. This is Guitar Solo Reactions. Thanks for watching.